Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to be comparing two different dryers as you guys saw by the thumbnail and we're going to get into that in just a second but I do want to let you guys know what's going on with my hair right now. So I've already cleansed and conditioned, I deep conditioned my hair and I also went ahead and put a leave in. Now when I'm doing blowouts I like to put a lightweight leave in, preferably a spray or some sort and I just got this Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk leave-in conditioner this stuff is actually really good I use it on my mom and I used it today and it honestly my hair feels really good I did not put a lot of this on my hair but I did want to mention that I do have this on my hair as well that is basically all I have I didn't even section my hair off I was just trying to get as much water out of my hair as I can so I just used this microfiber towel that I have monogrammed on the side I should have a few of these towels I think I have like 50 but in this video, I think I want to give away five of these towels. So this video is a giveaway. If you would like to win one of these microfiber towels, all you have to do is comment below and like this video and be a subscriber. That is basically it. I'll choose five winners. I don't know when, but check the description bar below so that you guys can see all of the details and all that good jazz. So, now that we got that over with, hair clean, towel dried. And I'm going to go ahead and take this bad boy off. So if you guys hear rain, it is like really, really raining right now. Like I think we have a flood warning going on in Atlanta right now. So if it start to get annoying, I'm sorry, but I still got to do my hair. This is what my hair is looking like when it is all towel dried. Well, I didn't really towel dry for too long, so it's still really, really wet. Just hopped out the shower. And I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair so that we can get started. On this side of my head, I am going to be using the Revlon brush dryer. Is that what you call this? Honestly, I don't even have the packaging no more, but I will link everything below, you guys. I found this one on Amazon. I'm going to be using this one on this side. Now, keep in mind, this dryer here is only for blow drying. You cannot diffuse, you cannot do anything other than blow dry your hair, okay? So this is not a multi-purpose type of thing. This video is basically for people who like to blow out their hair and that's basically all you want to do. Believe it or not, you guys, I have never used this dryer a day in my life, so this should be interesting. I've seen it all over YouTube over and over and over and I think it's kind of cool. It's a brush, it's everything, all in one. And this is what it looks like. It has the logo right here. And it's just a brush. And it has the off, cool, and low setting. So you basically just toggle this for it to come on and go off. So those are the only settings that this dryer has. Now on this side, I'm going to be going in with my Dyson. Now the Dyson is very expensive this is four hundred dollars i got mine for two hundred dollars but yeah everybody knows about the dyson by now it's a very nice dryer it's beautiful but now they have a comb attachment which they did not have initially and it only has one row it does not have two rows like a lot of other like blow dryer attachments which i do like very very sturdy doesn't seem like it's gonna break any teeth off this one like at all so i'm pretty excited to be using this one now if you guys are not familiar with the settings on the dyson you have three heat settings and three levels of like how fast the air comes out like I don't know what you call that but anyway so you can really toggle those and play with that to your liking and the on and off button and a cool shock button as well so that's the Dyson we know about that good bad boy so let's just get started I am gonna be using the Aveda heat protecting this is the Aveda brilliant damage control and it helps protect from thermal damage and breakage. So I am going to be spraying this on the sections. But I do want to go ahead and make this section a little bit smaller. Because y'all know we don't work in big sections like this. And we're just left with your section in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this section with the heat protectant. Now you also want to brush your hair out. This is a brush dryer, but what you do not want to do is just try to go in with your hair being all tangly. And you guys know I don't use combs and brushes in the shower, so I haven't detangled my hair completely. I've only like finger detangled, but you really want to brush it out. 
And I'm using my Felicia Leatherwood brush, if you guys are wondering. I got it from their website. And if I can find a link, I will put it below for you guys. Okay, now that my hair is all combed out, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on low setting first. This is the low setting. Not gonna lie, I don't have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for the low setting. I never have time for the low setting, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play myself. So so far, I like how fast it gets your hair dry, but I can tell that my roots are not getting dry dry so what I'm gonna do is keep pushing to get them, them roots dry and see how this go so yeah you really have to just like take the brush at the roots and literally just do this for like a little smooth moment like you just got to keep doing that and then taking it down the length of your hair so you got to keep doing this and then going down so Okay, it seems to be pretty straight. My roots are pretty straight now. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. Nice. look like my roots more straighter than the rest that I have. Dang. <laughs> That's how straight this got. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry the rest of this side with this, and then we're gonna go to the other side with the Dyson. burning my thumb so you can't really touch here even though there's a grip there like I don't know my thumb be right here maybe it slides up anyway y'all my thumb hurt okay y'all can tell to, to try to get my roots it's just taking so much I'm feeling real uh heat damagey right now like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I feel like this is a very heat damaging product um I don't know, y'all. I can't explain it right now. I, I'm going to hold my thoughts to the end. But it's very heat dimgy. Okay, you guys. So, this is one side down. And it is pretty straight. I mean, I have to say, I like it. It's fast. If I don't get heat damage, then we good. But... <laughs> I don't know. I just smell a lot of smoke. And I don't know if it's the heat protectant or if it's this... It is this, but it may be just a rubber. I don't know, okay? I smell something, okay? So that's the only thing with this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this side up so that it doesn't lose majority of its stretch and stuff. Go ahead and twist it up. All right, and now we're gonna start on this side. Now my hair has dried out a little bit, my ends have, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet these only because I haven't thoroughly detangled my hair yet so that's the only reason but if my hair was already detangled it would be an issue so I'm gonna go ahead and section the hair off put my heat protectant on this section go ahead and detangle and it's time to put the dice in the work so I think I'm gonna put it on the first heat setting but like the second flow setting so let's see what that is right here to really get in right to the to the to the root you know what I'm saying okay I think I'm gonna take the heat setting up one more third floor I like it, y'all know I like it. I like it because I'm so used to using it. So me holding it in my hand, I'm just used to it. And I love how it gets right at the roots, y'all. Let's look at the angle, guys. It's like a triangle. So when you're going in, it really gets in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl. So yeah, I'm about to finish this side of my head with the Dyson and I will come back when I am done.
you guys so I am done with the Dyson on this side and I would have to say I am impressed like it was super super quick to be honest with you it was low-key kind of faster than using the brush and that just may be because of the way the air flows you know all that good stuff that the Dyson claims to have in it basically the reason why it's four hundred dollars okay but it did an amazing job an amazing job so now I'm gonna take this side down so that we can compare of course this is freshly done so I'm gonna run the brush right back through it so we can have an even comparison all right so they were both freshly done basically all right so this is what each side is looking like and we have a little bit of a difference on this side my shape looks a lot better weirdly enough but on this side it's a lot longer a lot stretched well not that much more i mean just a little bit as you can see just a little bit of a difference as far as how it feels from roots down of course the dyson is clearly beating the other one look at my texture you could tell that this side is a little bit more textured than this side this is a lot smoother i know it feels more smoother can you tell i can feel a little bit of a hump right here i guess where that brush really can't smooth that hair down but on this side especially that comb it, it's in a triangle like i showed y'all earlier so it can really get down to really smooth these roots out my ends let's see they definitely are smoother on the dyson side but these aren't rough this side isn't rough that's why i'm like wait what so yeah this side isn't rough but i could tell this side has more of a smoothening a a polished i don't know i'm pretty sure it's the way that the air flows out like i said with the revlon dryer i could kind of smell burning type of scent a little bit with the dyson i did not have that at all like no type of smell it smells like purified beauty and air that's basically what this Dyson smells like so I mean these are the results what do you think would you go for the Dyson because first of all it has other attachments for sure this is the only attachment that didn't come with it every other attachment came with it so I don't know if they're gonna start putting this attachment in all of the Dysons from now on I don't know this one can be for a diffuser you can take this off and then you can just blow your hair I use this for sky so if you have a dog this ain't gonna work on your dog this works wonders on sky let me think I just want y'all to know the difference of course this is very cheap so if you just look for a very good blow dryer that's gonna get it done quickly this is good this is like good y'all like if my hair ain't burnt it's good you know if you only use your dryers for blowouts you might as well just get this you don't need anything else you know what I'm saying but if you're a curly girl I highly recommend this even for drying your hair your curls and stuff like that just get a safer dryer especially if you like to stretch your hair out the Dyson is the way to go this video is not sponsored by either one of them however feel free to go let them know that Kimberly did this video on her own free will and that you know it'd be great if they were to sponsor her because this is how she pay her bills and stuff and like I want to keep paying my bills and stuff. I hope you guys really like this video. I hope you like these comparison videos. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff because that keeps me empowered to want to do more videos for you guys. And I know you guys still want some more hair content. So please, please, please show me love below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.